Today I will give you my thoughts about the Presonus Ares E 3.5 after using them every day for around 3 months. Now, before I get into it, I want to clarify a couple of things. I will not have any sound test in this video because it does not make any sense. There are too many variables that affect the sound in the recording and playback, which makes it impossible to create a good representation of the sound quality. If you want to hear how they sound, you have to do it in person. And also my testing is done with rubber speaker feet that angle my speakers towards my ears. Studio monitors is made to pump sound directly to your ears and if you have them sit flat on your table, the sound waves will not be aimed at your ears and therefore the sound will not be exactly as it was meant to be. If you want to purchase these speakers or the speaker feed I used in this video, I will leave a link down in the description. Now let's talk about these speakers. In short, I would describe them as incredible. The sound that these speakers produce is absolutely fantastic considering their small size and their very reasonable pricing. The build quality is nothing to write home about, but I'm very happy to look past that considering the quality of sound these speakers produce. And because they are powered, there is no need for an external amp, which is nice. Now, let's talk about that sound. The speakers include two knobs on the back that make it possible to adjust the bass and treble with plus minus 5 dB. And this actually makes it possible to change the sound signature a fair bit. Personally, however, I use the speakers with zero gain manipulation. I found that out of the box, uh, the probe file was the most pleasing. I would describe the sound as very energetic and detailed, but it still contains the necessary low end to make all sorts of music sound good and these. If you want bass that shakes your whole body, you have to look at something with a separate subwoofer. But if you are happy with just hearing the bass, then there are more than sufficient for you. Also, the stereo separation is excellent both for listening to music and playing games. Compared to my Audio-Technica ATH M50X headphones, I managed to hear more depth in the sound and I was able to hear background instruments in the music that I haven't noticed before. Now, I do want to give you some perspective on how I adjust the sound quality of these speakers. I'm by no means an audiophile, but I have used and tried a lot of different speakers and headphones in different price segments before. And I personally feel like I can easily point out differences in the sound and I really appreciate good and balanced sound quality. Now let's get back to the speakers again. Here you can see the technical specifications. You can pause now if you want to read them and I will also leave a link to them in the video description. Okay, let's talk about what impressed me the most. The price of these is around $100 or 80 pounds. Link in the description. That is an insane value and when listening to them you would be excused to think that they are more than double that value. However, there is one way that you can figure out that they aren't that expensive. Pick them up. Especially the right speaker is very light because all the control is implemented in the left one. The basic construction of the speakers is MDF covered in vinyl and the front of the speakers is mass plastic. It doesn't feel particularly premium, but since you don't really need to hold the speakers that often, it isn't the biggest problem. Especially because they don't look cheap. The matte fronts give them a muted look and the tweeter grill and Kevlar woofers contributes to that. I also appreciate that the power switch and volume knob is on the front and easy to reach. Nice. Lastly, I will mention again that I really do think it's worth it to invest in something that can angle the speakers towards your ears. I will leave a link to what I use in this video in the description. Now I am aware that these are a bit expensive and therefore I will say that some rubber feet in the front could be used as an alternative to angle the speakers towards your ears. That has been all. See you in the next video.